Hello again, it's me. I am here today to help you get the ebook you've purchased from my site over to your e-reader. I'm going to show you another method now um, that assumes you've already downloaded the file to your computer and if you haven't done that you might want to check back to the first video in this series in order to learn how to do that. But assuming you've already downloaded the file, I'm going to show you uh, a method that's actually my favorite way to send things to Kindle. So um, once you're on your desktop, you're going to go over to Amazon.com and the um, address for this utility is Amazon.com forward slash GP forward slash send to Kindle. And I'll put that um, link in the notes below this uh, video on YouTube as well. So you can click it if that's um, too much to remember. But you can come over here and once that page loads up, you'll be on Amazon's website and they actually have this neat little utility called send to Kindle and um, you know when you're on your computer you're gonna be looking at this section over here from your desktop and I'm on a PC so I would click this and again this is a one-time setup um, what we're doing right now once you have this little utility installed you'll never have to do this part again and it'll be real easy to send books to your Kindle um, and you would click the download now button it's going to uh, download a little installer for a small program to your computer. I actually have a downloads folder for other file executable, uh, you know, to set up programs. But if you don't have that, you could save it to your desktop temporarily or some other folder that you would like. You're going to save, you're going to click this down here to save this button, um, ex installer. And then once it saves, you would just open it up and follow the prompts. When you do that, it'll install a little... Uh, gadget on your computer that's pretty invisible to you except for when you want to send books. So in order to actually use the thing you just downloaded and installed, um, you would use Windows Explorer. I have my little window pinned up here, um, but if you didn't, you could go to the Start button, right click, and choose Open Windows Explorer. You'll get the same thing. And when you open this, on the left hand side you'll see your computer and all of the folders that are on it. Um, referring back to video one, I saved my ebook in this one data ebooks folder over here. And when I go there, you can see the book that I had downloaded. Um, if you right click this, you will see that there's this new little send to Kindle thing over here, which is super handy. So all you have to do is right click and then press on regular left click on send to Kindle. And this little, um, window will pop up. It will ask you where you want to send it. You can send it to any of the devices that are registered to your account. And when you're ready, you press send. And it does all the work for you. How cool is that? All right, done. Uh, when you go to your Kindle Now that you just selected to upload to, you will find the book right there on the home screen as usual. If you don't see it, just make sure your Wi-Fi is turned on so that it can be delivered to the device. And then in the in the uh, settings menu you might want to check the sync and check for new documents um, option just to make sure everything is most updated on your Kindle you're probably already familiar with that from downloading and that's it that's really I think that's my favorite way and I think it's the easiest like I said once you install that little program once it's always there and it makes it real easy to just right click files and send them right over to your Kindle. So thanks for watching and I hope that makes it easier for you to get your downloaded books over to your e-reader. Happy reading!